Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet you, all my listeners, my brothers and my sisters. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I thank God for keeping us on the land of living today, making me and you to be in the in the land of the living, to be among the, the living, counting us worthy. It's a, it's a grace, it's a privilege. We give glory to the Lord for that. Father, as ever, thanks given in Jesus' name. Now, last week, I spoke about how marriage, uh, uh, marriages are being polluted, how some people, they, 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 because of a watchful like Ahab and Jezebel, and then they, as they married themselves and they polluted their, uh, their they, 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 they could not uh, uh, carry out the mandate of God in their life. Also, what happened in the life of Samson? Because he married Delilah, he could not carry out the mandate of God for his life. And this week, I want to tell you something about what God said on divorce. The mind of God on divorce. What God is saying about divorce. God said in uh, in uh, Matthew 9, 19, 4 to 9, that is where we are going to read. Matthew 19, 4 to 9, God said that, and he answered and said to them, that is Jesus, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate they said to him why then did moses command to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away he said to them moses because of the hardness of your heart permitted you to divorce your wives but from the beginning it was not so and i say to you Whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, and uh, marries another, commits adultery. And whoever marries her, who is divorced, commits adultery. Whoever marries her, commits adultery. I want to tell you that. Divorce was not permitted by God. It is because it was, it was because of the uh, hardness of our heart, wickedness in man, stubbornness in man, that made Moses to permit it to save people's life. That was why Jesus said it was not so. And that was why I said, by the time you come to the Lord, whosoever that is found in Christ, whoever come to God, to the Lord, to our Lord Jesus, has become a new creature. All things are passed away. That wickedness in the heart is removed. 
That wickedness in the heart are washed away. Jesus has paid for it. And all things have become new. Because all things are passed away. But when you have not been in Christ, when the word of God is not in you, you still have that wickedness in you. But there are some, this is why I'm saying that there are some people, they will be in the church. They are not yet in Christ. Although they are in the, they, 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 they gather with the children of God, but they are not in Christ. They have not accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. They are just there playing church. If you are playing church, you are not yet in Christ. And therefore, the spirit of Christ cannot be in you. Then the wickedness that is in man will still be in you. So many men you see in the many men you see in the church, many ladies you see in the church, many people you see are in, in your neighborhood are just like that. They only play church. They play to be good, but Christ is not in them. If Christ is not in them, they are still in that old nature, wickedness. So Satan and his agents are enemies of God. And they fight him by afflicting the people of God to make them derail through marriage and their families. Now, Satan being a, a very crafty uh, spirit sent his agents, his, his fallen angels, who came with, 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 with who, who fell with him, sent some of them into the church. That was why I told you that my late friend married his wife in the church. Married his wife in, his, in the church. And yet, that lady was an agent of darkness, was, had a connection with, in the, with the pit of hell. So, and I was telling you last week that how you can make know them is by their fruit. By their fruit, you shall know them. Because that was why I told you that you have to study them properly. Study that man, study that woman. So they will not be an agent of darkness. Because if you, if, you, uh, if you marry wrongly, you marry a wrong woman, a wrong man, it, it will be a, a, the marriage will be a, a, a hell or not. The plan of the enemy is to derail you, to destroy your life, to destroy your destiny, and even your lineage to destroy. How? Yeah, the lineage of Ahab was destroyed. Jezebel came into the life of uh, Ahab to destroy his lineage. You will see that after their, after their death, all their children were wiped off. They were all killed. Even those ones that were married in uh, Judah, married to uh, Jeroboam, who is the uh, Atalia, and at, after so, uh, the, the death of uh, uh, Jeroboam, that woman and her children were wiped off. Satan came to destroy the lineage of man, to destroy man, the, the destiny of man. And that is what Jesus said, Satan is a, is, a, is a thief to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So my brothers and my sisters, you should know that you should be very careful before you choose a future uh, your your spouse your future partner because the journey you are going to the journey you are going to marriage 
is a journey of no return. You can't have your to have a U-turn is not permitted. It's not in a, in a it's not in the perfect will of God. Now, I have told you the example of Samson and Delilah. Samson was specially sent to to Israel to be a judge to deliver Israel from the hand of the Philistines. But he could not he could not totally carry out the mission because of unwatchfulness because of uh, uh, worldliness because of the woman she married Delilah Delilah made his life to be cut short not to be not to be able to fulfill the mandate of God for Samson's life that you can find in Judges uh, uh, 16 verse 4. Ahab and Jezebel too, you can see how they destroy their, 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 their nations. Uh, nation of Israel. Evil came down their pollution, polluted the, 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 the people, defiled the people. And also, Jehoram and uh, Atalia, they destroyed Judah. You can see what Satan did to pollute and to destroy. So, therefore, before you enter into marriage, you have to enter it with fasting and prayer. You have to enter into that marriage life with fasting and prayer before you go into it, before you sign that agreement with your spouse that you are going to be together because immediately you sign it to get out of it is not easy if that power if that agent of darkness that your partner that spouse you have taken as your husband or as your wife is an agent of darkness from the pit of hell that person will be empowered from that from the power from the hell from the pit of hell and to to destroy your to destroy your destiny and how can you do you you what can you do then how you can find it i told you last week you have to check properly the spiritual and the personal life of that your spouse check his or her spiritual life. That is number one. Also, check his, his or her family's background. Because if uh, Jero, Jehoram have found the background of Atalia, that Atalia is the daughter of uh, Jezebel, and knows who Jezebel is, then he wouldn't have married Atalia. That, that, that great witch, that, that, that big witch at that time, Jezebel. Because what will a, a witch, when it will be like daughter uh, like mother, A daughter like our mother. If our mother is a big witch, then the, 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 the daughter will be a witch. Find their background. The family background. Is the, is the family background towing the will of God? Are they the, the people of God that people can depend upon? These things above will affect the peace and joy in marriage. If one could find properly about the, 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 the spiritual life of that spouse 
and is perfect, is good, and the, uh, the family background is also from a good family, they have good history, no evil have been, they have, have been found in them, then which shows that, that marriage also, they will have peace in that marriage, they will have joy in that marriage. You will, you, the, the, the war to fight, marriage, the war in that marriage will be less. Because the, 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 the Lord have been, come, have been going with their family, have been leading the family in their, in, in their lineage. And therefore, they will be still, if they still keep to, to, to God's directive, direction, then they will, they, will, they, they will fight less war in their marriage. But the unbelievers, the people of the world, they check on the physical things such as education. That's what people emphasize. What degrees does, does he or she has? What profession does he have or does do that person have? What wealth? Are they wealthy family? Are they wealthy people? Do, they, do, do that man or that lady come from a wealthy family? Oh, and they, they also look at the beauty. How handsome is the boy? How beautiful is that girl? They look at status. Ah, what is the standard in the, uh, in, in, in the society? Ah, they will begin, that is, and their stature. Is he fat? Is he slim? Is he, is he tall? Is he uh, uh, light in complexion or black in, dark in complexion? All these are not permanent in one's life. All the physical things that the people of the world check, they are not permanent. They fade. When I, when I married, I was not like this. I was not here when I married. One is moving in life. This could... You, you, today is the only day you know. You don't know what will be tomorrow. Things change. And that is why all those physical things will change. They are not permanent. They fade away. They vanish. And that, when they fade away, the joy that people have in them and the the, the also fade away if you have what of if someone have money today there is something wrong, wrong with the family and the money vanishes somebody who who was once uh, uh, wealthy today can be can be poor tomorrow wealth flies it has wings it flies away when you violate the law I know someone who was the first, the first engineer in Nigeria. At the end of his life, he lived in the in the shop. We had those shops that they used to build in front of a a, 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 a house where people were selling something. He cut it, he cut it into two. Where he was living in, in inside the part of the shop. And uh, maybe they are having something, business, uh, selling something in, in front. Can see the, the level, and it's the first Nigerian engineer. In, in, go and check the, the, the history. The first Nigerian engineer who took over from the white man, who's supposed to be the richest. So, that is why I'm telling you that things are not all these things that you are the people of the world are checking are not permanent. They fade. But peace of from heaven, the 
joy from heaven. And uh, the peace in marriage, when you have good, uh, spiritual, you are, you are connected with God, is forever. It will never fade. You will be, you will be, it will be a, a, a glow, you will be, it will just be, that is where you will find uh, marriage as uh, wonderful uh, uh, as he heaven or not. As heaven or not. As I. I find my own marriage is just like heaven or not. I enjoy it. I, I, I did not manage, I did not push my own marriage. I enjoy my marriage. Because I remember one time when I was trying to help someone in our church. They were two young boys, a boy and a girl wanted to marry and I, I was assisting them for, for the uh, uh, for what the, the, the printing of their uh, invitations. I was in that printer's uh, uh, place where somebody said, who wants to do marry? I said, oh, it's one of my it's one of my it's one of my brothers. One of my junior brothers in the in the church. Say, ah, hey. Said, marriage? Marriage? I said, what is wrong with marriage? Hey. Say, it's terrible. I said, no, 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 no. Marriage is not terrible. It's a wonderful thing from the, from the Lord. He, the way he experienced marriage was horror. And so whenever he will see people who want to go into marriage, he sees that they are going into hell. I said, no, if it is hell to you, it's not hell to me. I told him then. I enjoy mine and I'm still enjoying it. Praise the Lord. Also, prayers and fasting are very important to avoid one thing, one being loved in the, in the pit of hell. Because the, uh, the agents of darkness are now gone out, either men and women, they will take the name of the person they want to, they, they want to, they want to capture, they want to afflict, they want to lock up, they will take his name, take his picture, and send it to their to, to, to their master and they will do concussion they will do some magical something against that person either against the man or against the woman because that is the person they want to uh, the satan want to 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 capture to destroy his destiny so that he or she will not be able to do the the assignment God gave to him or her. And that person will fall in love unknowingly to that person, to that agent of darkness. And even no matter what any prophet, any prophet of God sees telling that person that, oh, the person you are meeting is not the real person he or she will not accept because already he has been put they have locked him up in their in their with their padlock therefore it is only when you fast and pray you can be delivered from that from such a thing now satan is going to and fro looking for whom to destroy looking for the people of God to destroy their destinies so that they will not be able to carry out the, the, the work the, the God has given to individual. The assignment given to, to them. It is through marriages that the enemy are doing all this to afflict the children because any child born with with the agent of darkness and the child of God, that the children will be, uh, will, will, be, will, be, will be polluted, will be defiled, will be initiated, either from the womb or 
when they are born and initiate them to evil, evil act, and you will see that they become agents of darkness. That was how Satan is getting all his workers. What did God say in Matthew 19.6? He said, So then, they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. If God, if you and if it, the children of God, man, man and woman, the one that God joined together is a, a daughter of God and a son of God. The two of them will be joined together. God will not join a, 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 a son of God with a daughter of Satan. God will jo not join them. God will not join a daughter of God and a son of a daughter of God and a son of devil together. No. God will not do that. It is Satan that does that. Because the two of them are not the same. They are not from the Lord. It is not, they are not of the same bone. That is a wrong bone. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a stranger in the life of that man or a stranger in the life of that lady. Therefore, if the pit of hell should join a child of God together with daughter of darkness, and when that child of God cry because of pain, if that child of God, let's say it's a man, call on his Lord. God said, call on me the day of trouble and I will deliver you. Because of pain that he is receiving in that, in that union with that agent of darkness. And he cried to God, God will deliver him, will set him free. Then God in his mercy will deliver his own from the kingdom of darkness. From, the king, from that power of darkness, God will go and deliver his own from their hands. And when God deliver them, deliver his own, you will see that that daughter of Satan will pack her load and, and leave. We pack her load and leave because her duty, uh, if she will not be able to, to, to perform, to do the work assigned to, to her. God has separated them. He, uh, that, that brother has been delivered. Or if it is a sister, God has delivered that sister from the hands of that demonic uh, husband. 1 Corinthians 7, 7 15 says, But if the unbeliever departs, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases, but God has called us to peace. Are you hearing that? God has not called us, uh, has called us to peace. So, my brothers and my sisters, be wise. Even if you have entered into a wrong hand, God is there to deliver you. He can still deliver you. Call on Him. In Matthew eleven twenty eight, He said. Come unto me, all ye that are heavily body, are heavily lady. He will give you rest. God is calling you to give you rest. You that you have, you are under lock. You are under bondage. God is seeking for you to give you rest. It is you because you have not come. 
Say, come unto me. All you that are heavily laden. And he will give you rest. Go to him. Call on him. And you will see the, the salvation of the Lord. Also, in Matthew 99, it says, And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, and marries another, uh, and marries another commits adultery, and whoever marries her who is divorced, commits adultery. You will see that uh, divorce is not permitted, but only on adultery. On the on the cases of adultery, when a a, a spouse commits adultery, he has destroyed that marriage covenant. The marriage covenant has been nullified. Has been cancelled. I'll be, I'll be violated and therefore it is destroyed because if a woman should commit adultery with another another man a married woman should go to bed with another man <laughs> that woman must there is nothing it, it, she cannot do to kill her husband because already she doesn't she doesn't like the husband anymore. She does not love the husband anymore. Jesus also agreed that only through sin of, of fornication that husband could divorce his wife. Any wo any woman that can commit fornication can kill her husband. Because already he, she, she, she has already hated the husband. She doesn't like him anymore. He has now is now he has he is now loving another man outside, and there is nothing if the husband is now an obstacle for him to enjoy herself. She can eliminate the husband in order to be free. To that man to be free to do what he wants to what she wants to do so my brothers and my sisters uh, I, I, I told you that divorce is not permitted is it is only on that reason of uh, Adultery uh, uh, that uh, that nullifies that marriage, and I want to tell you, even if a woman commits adultery, does not mean automatically she have to be to go. No, forgiveness overrule all sins. Jesus has forgiven us all our sins, and therefore. We should forgive others, no matter how painful it is, so that our prayers will be answered. If that woman now comes up and say, "Oh, she's sorry," and we know that she has a she, she has a remorse of what she has done, maybe it, it, that sin he committed was due to maybe some power of darkness that made her to do such a thing. To make to commit that such sin against the husband, then she should be forgiven. She should be forgiven, and that settles it. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, our heavenly Father, I bring all these listeners, my brothers and my sisters, unto you. Any power that is waging war against their marriages, those that are married, I ask in the name of Jesus, let the fire of God devour them, 
let the power of God come into that family and fight for them and put their enemies to shame in Jesus' name. Let all the powers of darkness that are waging war against the boat of that marriage to break it. Let it be still now. That wind, that storm from the pit of hell, I say be still in Jesus' name. And those, my brothers and my sisters that are looking for for a future partner, looking for their own bones and their bones, their flesh and their flesh, Father, guide them. Lead them right. That none of them will marry the wrong woman. No man will marry the wrong woman. And no, none of your daughter, your, your daughter will marry the, the, the son of the pit of hell. Father, guide them that they will never go in a wrong way. So that they will be able, everyone will be able to accomplish the purpose why they were being made. To, to accomplish the purpose of God in their life. So it shall be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shalom.